currently having some sort of allergic reaction to a food that I ate today. That's why my cheeks look like this. But hello, welcome back to my channel. For some reason, you guys loved my video where I ate like Emily Mariko for the day. And on that video, a lot of you guys wanted to know. I know it's such a hot topic. What I have been eating to lose weight, slash get healthy, slash I don't even know what I'm doing. For the past couple months, I have been going to the gym. I've been working out. I've been posting on my health account. I've slowly been trying to make changes to my life because for years I have struggled with binge eating disorder and honestly I can't remember a time in my life where I've had a good relationship with food. Every time I've gone on a quote-unquote diet, I just restrict myself. I end up fueling my eating disorder and it just never ends well. I always end up binging. Most of the time I'm honestly in a cycle of trying to lose weight, overdoing it, binging, not doing anything, and then I start it over again. No food apps on my phone. I'm not tracking anything, not measuring out my food. I am being more mindful of the serving sizes of the food I am eating. If I'm hungry, I'm eating. Even though my progress has been really slow, in the long run, that is what's gonna be good in the end. I think you can eat everything in moderation. I've tried every diet under the freaking sea. It just doesn't work for me that way. Going to the gym, being more active. I usually go on a walk a day with my dog and to the gym five days a week. I haven't been on the scale in a few weeks, but you guys keep commenting saying that you can see changes in me and you really want to know what I'm eating and what I'm doing and so this is that if you're here to judge what I'm eating and say I should be doing something differently or I should be doing it your way let's just not leave the comment I'm not a nutritionist but this is what works for me. I'm not a very good cook, so this is what I'm capable of cooking. I obviously know I have a lot to improve on in my diet. I'm working on it. So welcome to what I eat in a day to be healthier with Samantha Joe. It seems as though everybody had the same idea as me coming to the gym on a Sunday morning. It's like 59 degrees, 60 degrees here. Maybe a little warmer than that now. Everyone has their heaters blasting. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was walking into Satan's arch hole when I exited my apartment this morning. Forgot my pre-workout because I'm an idiot, but I have a Celsius. I'm a little concerned because I already had caffeine this morning in my coffee. I've cut back to two shots in my coffee, but I need some energy or I'm not gonna make it through this workout. I guess since I'm showing you everything I'm consuming today, Okay, I have zero motivation to go in there, but this is where you have to be disciplined when you're not motivated to go You got to do it anyway. Consistency is when you see results. Okay, let's do it Hello the gym where the swole people are now I'm in my home where the sexy people are I need to take a shower desperately because I put scalp oil on and I just look like a greasy mess I can't do anything until I eat breakfast a few of you guys said that this stressed you out in my last video when I was cutting on top of this I think it spices it up so for breakfast I'm going to attempt to eat this oatmeal I tried to make overnight oats with oat milk and I don't think it worked we'll see hopefully it's good. <laughs> Gonna make it in my cute little soup cup. They actually smell good. Didn't really absorb the milk. I'm gonna drain it. Okay, I did not like the way that sounded. Oats. My workout went well. I'm still shocked at how many people were at the gym this morning. I always thought people didn't do anything on Sundays. I kind of don't even want breakfast. I want lunch. I'm not a big breakfast food person. Now I have a big bowl of strawberries and oatmeal. Would it be weird to put peanut butter in it? Or maybe granola? I feel like the oatmeal is granola. Let's see what it needs. That's actually good already. And I'm not a big oatmeal person. I'm not gonna add anything to it. Good job, Sam. Good job. It's kind of more like soup than oatmeal. It's some good soup. I've gathered you all here today to make some sort of taco bowl. 
I'm having deja vu. I have no recipe for this. This is just an idea I had in my head. I don't think I'm the first person to make a giant taco bowl. We're gonna use lean ground sirloin, quinoa, taco seasoning, cheese. This is reduced fat cheese. Lettuce. This is baby spinach and arugula. But if it's green, it's lettuce to me. I'm obsessed with enchilada sauce, so I hope this one's good. It smells good. I think it's good. Let's make the meat. Turn on your stove. Just so the meat doesn't stick. Yeah. I'm in my comfy, staying at home outfit. Step one is ground the beef. If you don't have one of these, you're missing out. This says you're supposed to use three fourths cups of water for one pound of lean ground beef. And I have like a half. Oh, that's ice cubes. Guesstimating on how much of this to put in. And I think you just let it ferment. Let's just put you on a low simmer. Quinoa. There's this, oh, I have to boil the water first. I had nowhere else to put that. So this needs to come to a boil. While we wait for the water to boil, let's be productive. What's that? I don't like whatever that is. Kind of ripping it up. Does this have to be heated? Warm it. Put some meat on here, cheese. I think it's done, so I'm gonna add it. One cup of this made so much. Should I have done rice instead? Sauce. It's not very pretty, but it tastes like a taco. The quinoa kind of looks like little fish eggs, which is making me slightly uncomfortable. Also, I refilled my hydro jug. Two of these is a gallon. I wanna start eating more vegetables, so bear with me if there's not a lot of veggies. I'm trying. I bought some zoodles and I bought like a cauliflower rice stir fry that I'm gonna make. I'm probably gonna have a snack of veggies later. I still have not decided what's for dinner. I know chicken, but I don't know what I'm gonna make with the chicken. Bon appetit. Look what I got in the mail. My Thrive Market box. If you've been around here, you already know this. I love Thrive Market. So huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. There is nothing more convenient than groceries showing up at your house. Let's see what we got this time. Some veggie sticks. Having a salty snack like this is really nice when I want McDonald's french fries. Pretzels. These are for Duncan. They're bone broth pour overs. I wanna start being fancier with his food. They had these on the airplane for us when I was going to New York maybe? I don't know, but I ordered them because I loved them so much. Pint Energy Chocolate Chunk Bars. Some rice. I ordered these before. They literally taste like the Samoa Girl Scout cookie. I wanted to try these and see if they're actually good. They're dark chocolate peanut butter cups, and I love me some Reese's. I got some Smart Sweets, and that is all. If you guys are wondering what Thrive Market is, it is an online membership-based grocery store. So you're able to get members-only prices, which ends up saving you guys so much money than if you were to just go to your local grocery grocery store. They actually have price matching. So if you guys find something in your grocery store that is priced better than Thrive Market has a price for, they will match it. I personally love Thrive Market because it just gets delivered to my door. I hate going to the grocery store. And with Thrive Market, I can just do it all online and I don't even have to worry about it. They have pantry items, freezer food, non-toxic cleaning products, beauty supplies. And it's really easy for you guys to shop different lifestyles and values. They have a vegan section, a paleo section, gluten-free section, pretty much anything you can think of. They have a section for it. Orders over $49 are shipped for free in their carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. And they have a Thrive Gives program, which is really cool. So for every membership purchase, they give a membership to a family that needs one. And today they have donated $4 million of healthy groceries to different families that are in need. They have two different membership options, a one month membership option and a one year membership option. They have the month option just in case you guys aren't ready to commit to the one year option. I have the one year one because it ends up being cheaper at the end of the day and I know I'm absolutely obsessed with Thrive. I love the savings and the convenience of it. What are you waiting for? Go check out Thrive Market today. Click the link in my description. You're gonna get 25% off your first order with Thrive and you're gonna get a free gift. They have a happiness guarantee. You have nothing to lose. Huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to try some of these snacks. 
are getting real bored of seeing my kitchen. The lighting is significantly worse because somehow it's already dark. Daylight savings time really has me tripping. It's been dark outside for like three hours. I was so hungry today in between breakfast and lunch, but after lunch, I have not been hungry. In fact, the idea of food for some reason is kind of repulsing. I am on my period though, TMI. My stomach and my appetite is always so weird when I'm on my special time of the month. But I know that I need to make some dinner. What's on the menu? Sauce. Tiny pot. If you're wondering why I changed my pants, refer to what I told you earlier. Use your brain. Chicken. Look how big this is. I'm making chicken. It's actually not that exciting now that I'm saying it out loud. It's chicken, noodles, vodka sauce, and a splash of Parmesan cheese. I've never successfully cooked a chicken breast. I think you can season it however you want. 450. I started off today being so productive. I don't know, something about lunch just took me out. I've been so tired ever since. But that's okay because it's a Sunday and Sundays are used to reset and relax and watch Gilmore Girls. I just started watching Gilmore Girls. I'm on episode like nine and I have never watched it before. I've seen it on Netflix a million times. I don't know why I didn't watch it. It is so cute. It just feels safe. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a new show. I'm just getting started watching it. So we could honestly watch it together. I didn't have a snack today. I normally do snack. I'm an intense snacker. So let's talk about what I would snack on if I had a snack today. These are two yogurts, but they have very different purposes. Greek non-fat yogurt plain is the perfect substitute for sour cream. I don't even like sour cream, but I do like homemade ranch dressing. You get this seasoning mix, sprinkle her in there, mix it up and stick anything in it. In my fridge currently, I have mini cucumbers, celery, carrots, and snap peas. All of which I dip into this ranch. The second yogurt is vanilla. I'll put some granola in it. This is a good snack. I like snacking on fruit. I love snacking on pickles. If you sat me down with a jar of pickles and no one was watching me, I'd probably eat the whole thing. I know some of you guys are probably gonna watch this and be like, you're eating too much. You're eating too many carbs or too much fat or too much sugar. That's not how I'm rolling. I have had a bad relationship with food since I was old enough to go to the fridge by myself. I've tried counting macros. I've tried counting calories. It never ends well for me at this point in my life. I would love to get to a stage where I can do those things in a healthy way, but I can't right now. I get really obsessive over it. I know there are diets that say you can't eat fruit, you can't have carbs, you shouldn't have cheese. There's a million different diets you could follow. This is just what I'm doing. I have noticed a difference in the way I look. I try to make sure I'm not eating big portions. I'm also eating to the point where I'm satisfied enough that I'm not gonna go binge on 10,000 calories of McDonald's. Those are some things that I would typically snack on. Now we just wait for the chicken. I'm filming this because for once I think my chicken looks juicy. Like it's juicy. Here it is. Very underwhelming. I don't know if it was obvious, but I was struggling to make this for no reason. Let's see if it's good. These noodles are made out of chickpeas. It's not bad. I'm most proud of the chicken though. I also had this mini can of Diet Coke. You caught me. What? You never had cookie dough before bed? Don't judge me. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, and it's safe to eat raw. Just don't look and you won't even know that I ate it. After these last few chugs, I will have officially drank a gallon of water today. Breathe. I feel like I'm allergic to something in that pasta. Cause look at my skin. It's like on fire. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I had fun cooking with you today. And I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight to what not only my workout routine is looking like. Obviously I didn't really show you guys much of me working out because I get a little scared in the gym. I think today showed a more well-rounded look into my life. Let's not get it twisted. I don't make every meal that I eat. But I thought for the sake of this video, it would be nice to challenge myself to eat all three meals from the comfort of my own home. And that is something that I want to start doing a lot more. You guys are all being so sweet about my whole health journey and my life journey in general. You guys are literally the best. I could hype you up all day. If you enjoyed this or you want other content that's like health related, let me know. Or if you have questions, let me know. Another huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Make sure 
sure you click that link in the description box to get 25% off your first order with Thrive Market, as well as snatching up your free gift. I'm going to go to bed now, and I'm going to probably wake up in the middle of the night to go pee from drinking a gallon of water, but that's okay. I'm too hot, my body can't handle it. See you in my next one, bye.